طيب اولا السلام عليكم يا شباب وشابات و وكل الناس اللي عندهم الرغبه انه يحضروا ماجستير من بورسودان مدينه بورسودان الجميله انا اسماعيل الدومه فماسيست تخرجت من جامعه الخرطوم 2003 وعملت ماستر ان سوشيال ان ادمنستريتيف فارماسي في جامعه الجزيره وحس حاليا بي اتش دي ستودنت في الفارماسي براكتس وتقريبا طلبوا مني الطبق ده اقدمه لكم قبل اسبوع ولا اسبوعين تقريبا لكن لظروف العمل الواحد ما يتوفق في انه يقدم لكم الطبق فالحمد لله الليله يعني الواحد لقى يعني زمن انه يقعد يقدم لكم الطبق الطبق اللكشر بتاعنا حيكون في ريكوردينج و هيحصل له ابلود في اليوتيوب و هارسل لكم زي ما قال دكتور ابراهيم في ال في التليجرام ف ان شاء الله الناس تتمنى لها التوفيق و حقيقه يعني الواحد سعيد جدا بانه الناس يعني مهما كانت المسافه بعيده عندها الرغبه في انها يحصل لها ديفلوبمنت في الكارير بتاعها ف Today our lecture is about pharmacoeconomics. Pharmacoeconomics, as general, is a broad topic. It has to do with pharmaceuticals, the products. والجانب بتاع الايكونومكس اللي هو الاقتصاد فبالتالي فارماكو ايكونومكس اللي هو مقصود به اقتصاديات الدواء و today فارماكو ايكونومكس is very essential in our practice as known to all of us as pharmacist so Right now, our contents today will be in this uh, in this in this upcoming slides introduction, general concepts in pharmacoeconomics. Uh, also, we will discuss pharmacoeconomics different topics, and then we will uh, uh, we will know the importance of pharmacoeconomics in our practice. Also, we will uh, learn pharmacoeconomics research questions, uh, cost categories and measuring methods, uh, relationship between pharmacoeconomics to other research in health. Uh, then we will uh, learn types of pharmacoeconomics analysis and studies. Also, we will study challenges of pharmacoeconomics and uh, this the, these upcoming slides will end in conclusion and summary about these uh, points our objectives the first objective is that to study basic and essential topics in pharmacoeconomics then the second is top, the second topic is to know pharmacoeconomics principles also to figure out fundamental topics and to define terminologies used in pharmacoeconomics research uh, then uh, the fourth objective is to understand and to interpret and determine the usefulness of pharmacoeconomics research uh, 
the final objective is to acquire skills needed to understand and use pharmacoeconomics research. Okay. Uh, in our introduction, uh, practice and research facts of pharmaceutical products and the origin of pharmacoeconomics. In this slide, we are going to study how uh, drugs are going to be discovered and how much they will cost and how much of time they will consume until we reach the final products that can be used in pharmaco syrupy. So let us uh, know how pharmacoeconomics emerged. So first of all, if we want to develop any drug, first we have to understand and to know and to learn diseases. There must be a disease. If there is a disease problem, then we have to discover and develop medicines or identify any drugs that can treat this disease. So after we understanding and knowing uh, all informations about disease, we have to develop a molecule or drug that can treat this disease. In order, in order to. Uh, to achieve molecule or drug, we have to consume five, four to five years at least, and uh, the total cost during these years will be about four, uh, four hundred and thirty-six million dollar. The تكلفت الدواء. عشان ما نتحصل على مولكيول تتريد the disease uh, و during these 4 to 5 years we have to test uh, not less than 5,000 to 10,000 of uh, medical test of this molecule فبالتالي in إذا معناها research companies will in order to discover new molecule or drug to treat the disease uh, at the end from these thousands of tests we will uh, select one drug that is successful to treat our disease. Uh, so it is very important to do our preclinical test in lab and in animals in order to uh, evaluate the efficacy of the drug. Uh, then will come the random the clinical trials. After, uh, after preclinical pre test at lab and in animals, then we have to test the new drug in humans. Uh, as we know, in phase one, we have to test the new drug in 20 to 100 healthy people in order to evaluate the toxicity of this of this new uh, selected product or selected drug. In phase two, we have to test at least in 100 to 500 people who are ill in 
order to evaluate the efficacy of this new drug. Uh, in phase 3, we have to test this new drug in 1000 to 500 people who are ill. And the result must be 90% of these people must be cured in order to approve that this uh, medicine should be registered now in order to be marketed. So, uh, in order to register and approve our new product, we have to spend not less than one point fifteen billions of dollars and during this journey we will consume not less than twelve point five years uh, any new drug in order to reach the point of regulatory bodies to register and approve will consume billions of dollars and will consume time and research companies should pay during these uh, activities and uh, this indicates that any new drug will have cost and this cost must be identified measured and evaluated before registration and after registration new drug will be approved and this approval will uh, this approval will introduce new drugs that must be compared with old drugs and this comparison is pharmacoeconomics. Vitalism is the pharmacoeconomics that means the production of multiple medications, multiple brands, multiple uh, uh, medicines. Vitali, we have to compare and select between these medications uh, an opinion our perspective of pharmacoeconomics in uh, resources are scarce and موارد دائما شحيحه في كبضقه كميزانيه لتوفير الدواء دائما الموارد ما بتكفي فبالتالي جاءت فكرة الفارماكوكنومكس عشان الواحد يتخذ قرار بأنه يختار ما بين الأدوية وبالتالي يتخذ قرار بأنه يعمل تدخل أور انترفينشن ويز كوست وايز ميديسين أور دراك من هنا we have to ask our uh, ourselves that what is pharmacoeconomics so pharmacoeconomics is the science of description and analysis of the drug therapy cost to health care systems and society uh, definition of pharmacoeconomics is the science of uh, knowledge of description and analysis of the drug therapy cost cost of drug therapy cost of drug therapy does not mean that the price of the therapy but all cost of the use or utilization of this medicine and the outcomes uh, and the cost of outcomes should be identified and measured in pharmacoeconomics uh, so in healthcare systems and society it is very important to identify and measure the cost of using 
uh, medicinal product or pharmaceutical and the cost of outcomes of this intervention uh, other definition of pharmacoeconomics pharmacoeconomics identifies measures and compares the cost and consequences of drug therapy to healthcare systems and society uh, the second definition indicate that pharmacoeconomics uh, can identify and mm. can measure and can mm. compare cost of different products and the consequences uh, or outcomes of uh, therapeutic use of a medicinal product and this cost should be measured uh, uh, should, should be measured in the level of health care system and all society level so uh, we have in the second uh, point to learn We have to uh, know the general concepts and some definitions in pharmacoeconomics. So right now I am going to introduce to you the general concept. The general concept of pharmacoeconomics is that we have inputs which is cost in dollars uh, and this cost in dollars uh, Include the product and the services that uh, provided to the uh, patient or individual and the outcomes. So we have inputs and outputs. Uh, the inputs are the products or the service and the outcomes, which will be uh, clinical outcomes or humanistic outcomes or quality of life outcomes uh, and so on uh, so in pharmacoeconomics we have to evaluate the total cost or the partial cost uh, so if we measure the cost only analysis or or we have done cost only analysis this is called partial economic analysis uh, for example if we want to uh, to measure only the cost of the product this is partial if we want to measure the cost of outcomes this is also partial economic analysis so outcomes only measured and analyzed without regarding to cost of inputs it is a clinical or outcome study not an economic analysis study uh, uh, outcomes only analysis called outcomes only uh, analysis and uh, in, in clinical or uh, pharmaceutical service the outcomes are clinical outcomes and in economic we have other outcomes so uh, when we measure the cost only this is called partial economic analysis if we measure the cost of uh, the, the cost of products and outcomes the cost of intervention and outcomes this is called uh, 
full economic, economic analysis. So for macroeconomics, uh, we'll measure the both sides of this equation, which is input and output, input in dollars and outcomes, which can be national units or monetary units. And uh, when we measure the post sides, this is called full analysis. Still, we are continuing in general concepts and some definitions in pharmacoeconomics. Uh, drug therapy plays an important role in the treatment of hospitalized patients while bad kids are scared. Uh, that means usually in our bed gate, in any healthcare system, medicines or drugs will be uh, will be uh, provided. Uh, but gate that is not uh, enough to make provision of all pharmaceutical products. So we have we have to put in our mind that usually bad gates are not enough in pharmaceutical service mainly in the public sector uh, the second concept is that effective drug therapy will reduce days of hospitality any effective drug will reduce days that a patient will be inside the hospital so Will uh, effective drugs will decrease the days in hospitals, so decrease days of inpatients, so the discharge will be in few days. Uh, the third concept is that reducing expenditure of pharmaceutical service or products to save cost is not recommended. Consider economic and outcomes value. So in this concept, uh, many uh, organizations or public sectors trying to reduce the cost of uh, the cost of the service or the cost of the products in order to to make cost containment or reduce the cost and they consider this is an economic uh, objective uh, so the cost of inputs usually does not mean that the outcomes are of good value so it is very important when we want to the to to make cost containment, we have to figure out the economic and outcomes value of our intervention. Uh, drug therapy or pharmacotherapy means that, or this concept means that using medications to treat disease. When we use a medicine to treat disease, this is called pharmacotherapy or drug. Still, we are continuing in general concepts and some definitions in pharmacoeconomics. Uh, drug value for patients and prescribers. The value of drug therapeutic use not as a product. Uh, so, the value of prescribers and patients is that the product used must have a value of good outcomes to them. So the value of any product is not the is is not uh, uh, is not no is not is uh, is not uh, does not mean that the the value is the product itself 
but the value of any product is the outcome of its use or the therapeutic, therapeutic use outcome term used to describe results and value of an intervention when we say outcome we mean that this term is to describe results and value of an intervention. Outcomes of healthcare. When we mention outcomes of healthcare, we mean that the clinical and economic and humanistic outcomes of an intervention of a of a pharmaceutical product or therapeutic use of a medicinal product. Cost containment. Cost containment means that decreasing cost. Uh, but the, the, the real concept is that successful healthcare is measured by provision of patients' expectations and doctors and other healthcare providers and the society, uh, which can be uh, indicated by the National Health Insurance Fund. So, any uh, health care system uh, when trying to make cost containment uh, they must face uh, they must they must face provide patient expectations or m must make patient expectations available also expectations of doctors if these expectations not available that means the cost containment is uh, wrong uh, also benefit when we mention benefit we mean that amount of money that will be saved or generated uh, any amount of money that saved or generated due to the intervention or using of pharmaceutical product uh, that means there is a benefit resulted from this intervention effectiveness the capability of producing a desired outcome so effectiveness of an intervention or pharmaceutical product uh, means that the intervention or the pharmaceutical product will produce the desired outcome so the difference between efficacy and effectiveness is that efficacy of a product uh, may not produce uh, the desired outcome it will have an outcome but not the desired outcome so in case of effectiveness we have the desired outcome cost cost does not usually mean surprise surprise of a product but the price of a product and price of administration and price of hospitalization uh, or and price of outpatient treatment etc so when we mention the cost we do not uh, mean that uh, the price of the product or the acquired price of an intervention or product but the total cost of the intervention or the pharmaceutical product so the value equation we have in pharmacogenomic an equation this equation value equals outcomes over cost this is a classical equation or uh, the oldest equation of pharmacodynamics and it means that when we decrease the cost uh, the outcomes will increase and the value uh, and uh, the outcomes will increase and also when the outcomes is increased and 
the outcomes increased if we decrease the cost also if the out uh, in this equation outcomes when increased that means the value is increased but the new equation of pharmacoeconomics about the value is that value equals quality plus outcomes over cost that means we have to indicate the quality beside the outcomes because sometimes we have an outcomes but uh, of not uh, but of low quality or have not a high quality so if we increase the quality that means the value will increase if we increase the outcomes positive outcomes the value will increase and if we decrease the cost the value will increase and this equation is the newest american and updated equation for healthcare value measurements basic terms in pharmacoeconomics uh, pharmacoeconomics actually has uh, two topics basic topics in pharmacoeconomics and advanced topics in pharmacoeconomics so first basic topics in pharmacoeconomics uh, include or will cover introduction in pharmacoeconomic uh, which is what is pharmacoeconomic we will answer what is pharmacoeconomic and we will study the importance of pharmacoeconomics and research relevance, relevance of pharmacoeconomics and types of analysis in pharmacoeconomics also uh, number two of the basic topics in pharmacoeconomics is the measuring and estimating costs and this uh, means that costing terms and categories uh, include costing terms and categories perspectives and costing time adjustment uh, also basic topic in pharmacoeconomics will include research appraisal articles in pharmacoeconomics uh, which will uh, illustrate the appropriateness of uh, research method and the appropriateness of questions in the research uh, also basic topics in pharmacoeconomics will cover the topic of cost analysis methods uh, also uh, pharmacoeconomics topics the basic one will uh, cover the health related quality of life measures uh, which include health status and reference based classification system and patient reported outcomes so these five uh, points are about the basic topics in pharma uh, so the second uh, type of pharmacoeconomics topics is the advanced topics in pharmacoeconomics which will include decision analysis in pharmacoeconomics definition and social social analysis Threshold analysis is that any country in the world has threshold uh, level that can bear and will include the new product or will register, will register this new product and be included in the essential medicine list. So definitions. Uh, and threshold analysis 
are about the decision analysis. So in order to make a decision that you can include or reject the new product in your country, this is an advanced topic. Uh, also Markov modeling. Markov modeling is the second type of advanced topic in pharmacodynamics, the description and evaluation of patient's health status, such as quality of life or quality adjusted life of years are measured through Markov modeling. The third type of retrospective uh, local and international data use and analysis uh, also belongs to the advanced topic of pharmacogenomics. The fourth type of uh, advanced uh, pharmacogenomic topics is the future issue which include pharmacy services valuing, insurance data analysis, and applications of pharmacoeconomics. This is used in forecasting analysis and uh, future issues. Also belongs to the advanced topics in pharmacoeconomics. The fifth type of advanced topics in pharmacoeconomics is the international trends. Uh, healthcare expenditure, pharmacoeconomic research comparability, and pharmacoeconomic guideline development are uh, also uh, topics or uh, trends that can be uh, studied in the part of the advanced topics in pharmacoeconomics. The fourth uh, point of our lecture content is the importance of pharmacoeconomics. Uh, the importance of pharmacoeconomics in our pharm pharmacy practice or pharmacy discipline uh, are uh, the first importance is that Pharmacognomics is very important in budget allocation, budget about product, pharmaceutical product provision. For example, the United States spends about $2.7 trillion on healthcare in 2010, about 12% over, over $900 per person of healthcare expenditure were for medications. So, in budget allocation, pharmacoeconomics is very important. You have to analyze and determine if you have allocated these resources uh, in, in the right location. Uh, the importance of pharmacoeconomics is also uh, uh, help uh, pharmaceutical sector in cost overcoming. So, healthcare cost have been increasing each year. This is a fact that the cost due to inflation or global economic change, uh, healthcare cost have been increasing each year. Increasing cost has resulted in need to understand how limited resources can be used most efficiently and effectively to provide an uh, effective uh, pharmaceutical service or interventions to healthcare systems and societies. Costs and outcomes compensation. So in order to overcome the problem of cost, we have also to figure out the outcomes of our interventions or pharmaceutical product utilization. So pharmacoeconomics is very important in cost and outcomes compensation. Uh, uh, when we look in any interventions, 
healthcare interventions, clinicians want their patients to receive the best care and outcomes available. And bears and governments and health insurance uh, want to manage rising costs. So we, pharmacoeconomics will make a compensation between these two perspectives. The balance between the uh, best available outcomes and the best use of available resources. Uh, also, pharmacoeconomics is very important in inclusion and exclusion of medicines from the essential medicine list. So in order to make a decision based on pharmacoeconomic analysis, you have uh, to use it in inclusion or exclusion of uh, medicine in formulary or essential medicine list. Uh, pharmacoeconomics uh, uh, also in research has research questions that can be answered uh, easily when we use the pharmacoeconomics analysis. So there are many questions that can be answered when we uh, implement pharmacoeconomic analysis for the utilization of pharmaceutical product or an intervention uh, to treat certain condition. So, uh, these questions are, the first one is which drug should be included in formula? This will be answered through pharmacoeconomic research question. Uh, also, pharmacoeconomic will answer what is the best drug for particular patients. So, the patient has a condition and we have multiple medications. We have to choose one from them. Uh, which will be the best for a particular patient. Uh, also, pharmacogenomic will answer what is the best drug for uh, the pharmaceutical manufacturer to develop. So, uh, pharmacogenomic will answer this this uh, this question. Uh, so, uh, manufacturers or companies can measure the cost and will calculate uh, the profit from producing, introducing or manufacturing any uh, new developed drug through pharmacoeconomic. Which drug delivery system is the best for a certain hospital? So according to hospital regulations and uh, uh, standard treatment guidelines, uh, pharmacoeconomics can determine the introduction of a uh, medicine or drug in uh, a specific hospital. Uh, also, pharmacoeconomics can answer how do two clinical pharmaceutical services can be compared. We can compare the different services provision of services and we have to make choice the best choice according to the cost between the two choices pharmacoeconomic also will answer which drug can be included in an essential medicine list and this is uh, as we mentioned that every country has uh, a social uh, analysis level that will determine the inclusion or exclusion or uh, uh, registration or approval of the medicine to be marketed. Also, the seven type of questions that can be answered through pharmacoeconomics is what is the cost per quality adjusted life year of life extended by using a drug. Uh, will answer if we used an intervention or certain medication uh, what will be the cost of the extended life years 
uh, or, qual uh, or the cause of quality adjusted life years of an intervention of you or use of a certain medicine. Uh, also, we can answer the question Will patient quality of life? be improved by a particular drug therapy decision uh, improvement of quality of life uh, by choosing one of the pharmaceutical products or variable pharmaceutical products or interventions that uh, can illustrate or explain the quality of life improvement of a patient. What is the best drug therapy for the particular disease? Uh, any disease according to to production of multiple medications or multiple plants uh, we have to select or choose one of these products or plants to treat a certain disease so what is the best drug therapy for the particular disease will be answered through pharmacoeconomics analysis what are patients outcomes from various treatment interventions also, we can measure the outcomes from various treatment interventions for a patient. For a patient. Uh, the six points that we, ha we are going to study today uh, in pharmacoeconomics is that cost categories and measuring methods. So there are uh, many types of cost categories and there are many types to measure these cost categories. Uh, first cost category is that the direct cost. So cost is classified into direct cost and indirect cost and intangible cost. So their cost are either medicinal or non-medicinal cost. Medicinal cost are drugs, materials, hospitalizations, and outpatient care, works, complications, non-medical, or transportation, hotel services. So all, all inputs, resources, and services are direct cost and uh, can be measured in pharmacoeconomics. Uh, the intangible cost which are uh, difficult to be measured and this includes the pain and the worry of the patient and the psychological uh, stage of patients. Indirect cost include working in mobility, uh, which will lead, which will lead to loss of productivity and disability, and return this drawdown from social care system. Uh, other types of cost categories are incremental cost category and the opportunity cost category. The incremental cost category is that extra cost to purchase extra unit. This is called if you paid extra money in order to achieve extra units or services or products. This is called incremental cost or willing to pay cost. The opportunity cost means that the value of next best chance not taken to treat the case so any loss of other opportunity uh, that can be used uh, 
and the loss is due to not uh, uh, not available or not covered uh, by the health insurance uh, we mean that there is an opportunity but not used and if used there will be a, a better outcome so uh, if it is not used that means the outcomes are not enough or not the best and then there will be a cost that will be paid to do not uh, uh, for not using the value of the next best ch chance that was available uh, so cost measuring methods cost measuring methods uh, any cost has certain methods to be measured so there are cost measuring methods all in monetary terms so the direct cost usually measured in monetary terms such as dollars or pounds and indirect cost measuring methods are uh, sometimes measured by human capital method which is loss productivity measures earning loss loss of uh, salaries loss of uh, income loss of uh, revenues and uh, frictional cost cost of replacing worker it means that if a worker not uh, attended to the work so there will be a cost of replacing a worker new worker uh, will cost the company or the organization extra cost willing to pay cost maximum benefit for maximum pay uh, this cost is uh, an incremental cost so if you have the uh, if you have uh, money that can be paid to receive the maximum benefit this is called willing to pay cost uh, intangible cost hardly to be expressed as, as such as pain so it is difficult to be measured uh, now we are going to uh, to understand the relationship between cost and outcomes when we want to select between two drugs drug A and drug B so uh, any drug either has a higher price or lower price also uh, any drug uh, either has a higher effect or lower effect in this case we have two drugs A and B if our drug was in this uh, part uh, we have nothing to do with it because any higher price uh, and lower effect any product or pharmaceutical uh, plant has higher effect and lower effect or higher price and lower effect we have to reduce this product because this will consume our uh, budget and, and in the same time it is used less because it has lower effect so if our drug uh, is, is in this part 
this means that our uh, product has higher effect and lower price so we have to accept and uh, use this product because it will have it will has uh, the good outcome in the same time will not consume our uh, our budget and if our product is in this part our products uh, drug A and B are in this part of higher price and higher effect so we have to make uh, a selection between them uh, since pharmacoeconomics is usually uh, about making selection between choices of lower cost and higher or good effect so this uh, product has higher price and in the same time uh, lower effect than B in the same time B has higher effect and lower price so we have to select uh, the product of higher effect which is B and in the same time of lower price also which is B uh, if our product in this uh, part uh, which is of lower effect and lower price uh, can be analyzed but who wants such a drug no one can uh, accept drugs of lower effect and lower price cost measuring and implementation levels uh, there are uh, many levels that we can implement uh, in which level we can uh, use cost measuring and uh, comparison between interventions and products uh, so in patient by patient level the best medication or treatment for each patient depending on demographic clinical and economic considerations and if you are the physician and you want to prescribe a medication for a patient you have to look on the demography uh, the demography origin of the patient and also the clinical outcomes that you want and you have to put in your mind the economic considerations of this patient and then after that you can select and prescribe a medication such as patient the uh, patient uh, has a certain case or disease and there are two choices A, drug A and drug B and drug A will uh, drug A cost is 100 and drug B cost is 50 insurance will pay 50% from each and one of them has side effects and uh, the other is no so the selection of the drug will depend on uh, willing to pay uh, willing to pay or ability to pay and uh, at the same time uh, we have to put in our mind the side effects cost uh, resource allocation decision for groups level such as provision of high quality services, the cost and value uh, such as vaccination, diabetic patients. This is uh, uh, another level which is uh, which will depend on the provision of high quality services uh, on the cost value of a group of patients such as diabetic patients or group of children that in lack to a vaccination uh, cost effectiveness options for population 
such as for military and healthcare insurance, essential medicine. Cost measuring, uh, still we are continuing in cost measuring and implementation levels. S so resource allocation decision at national or societal level. Uh, govern governments finance the majority of health care uh, system. And uh, in this level, uh, we are dealing with a national or a big uh, group of uh, individuals so the government finance the majority of the health care needings uh, in this resource allocation also prices neg negotiations uh, or price setting or formulary management at the national level Uh, the new uh, points that we have to discuss and to know is the relationship between pharmacogenomics and other researches. Clinical or humanistic outcomes research is defined as the attempt to identify, measure, and evaluate the end results of healthcare service uh, one of a studies uh, or researches called clinical or humanistic outcomes research this type of research usually uh, will identify and measure and evaluate the end results of healthcare service. So there is no evaluation of the intervention, interventional cost, consumption of resources during intervention are not uh, valued, are not measured, are are not measured, are not. Uh, indicated only the outcomes are measured and evaluated and reported uh, pharmacogenomics is a type of outcomes research but not all outcomes researches are pharmacogenomics research uh, this means that pharmacogenomics uh, will measure the outcomes in the same time, we'll measure the uh, cost of an intervention or selection of a pharmaceutical product. Uh, so the evaluation will will be about the input or consumption of research resources and and the outcomes cost. So the outcomes of an intervention or utilization of pharmaceutical product will be measured so pharmacogenomics is, is an outcomes research but when we measure the outcomes research outcomes only that means it is an outcomes research and not a pharmacoeconomic research pharmacoeconomic evaluation uh, will measure the following cost of resources this uh, uh, this point mentioned uh, in the upper uh, row or point and the cost of resources consumed usually will be taken into account in pharmacogenomics also cost of consequences of therapy intervention or outcomes or uh, outcomes will be measured and evaluated and will be uh, taken into account also 
so for mark memory research identifies measures and compares cost of pharmacy products services and their consequences and this means that any consumptions of resources and their consequences or outcomes will be evaluated and measured in pharmacoeconomic resources while uh, outcomes resources only measure the consequences uh, cost. Uh, now we are going to know types of economics analysis. Uh, they are, actually there are many types of pharmacoeconomic analysis. One is cost minimization analysis. It is called cost minimization analysis. Uh, this type will uh, measure the cost of uh, the cost of an intervention or pharmaceutical product utilization uh, decrease when selected uh, and choose among two products. Uh, cost benefit analysis is also is another type of pharmacoeconomic analysis. The third one is cost effectiveness analysis. The fourth one called cost utility analysis. Uh, other cost analysis, uh, there are also other types of cost. And now we are going to discuss the cost minimization analysis. It is actually the simplest method in pharmacoeconomic analysis and used when two medications are assumed to have equivalent outcomes. It means that the consequences and outcomes of utilizing uh, a product is similar and equivalent to the other product. So we have to measure the cost of the, uh, uh, we have to measure the acquired cost of each product and then make a decision to select one of them. Uh, for example, generics and brand products. Uh, they are all have the same outcome. So we have to select according to the cost of the uh, according to the cost of uh, product or the acquired cost of each of them, and then compare between them to select one of. The two. Uh, cost minimization example we have Milari treatment A and Milari treatment B. Uh, one of them A is of high cost and uh, the second is of low cost but the same uh, outcome for each. Each of them will eradicate the plasmodium uh, from uh, the ill patient so we have to select that uh, of low cost and we have to reject the product which has a high cost in this case is drug A will be rejected and drug B will be selected to be prescribed for the patient uh, disadvantage of this uh, pharmacoeconomic analysis method or the disadvantage of cost minimization uh, method is that uh, it cannot be used when outcomes are different. If they are different outcomes, we can't use this method. Also, not be appropriate to compare different classes of medications. Uh, only we have to compare the same a class of medications. Uh, if outcomes are not measured but only assumed to be the same, the study is considered to be a cost analysis. So it is uh, actually it is not 
pharmacoeconomic analysis method or pharmacoeconomics uh, uh, full analysis method because uh, it assumes that outcomes are the same and not measured and, with, uh, and only it will measure the uh, cost of the intervention or the acquired cost of the product uh, so it is not a full economical analysis method but uh, it is a partial analysis uh, the second type of, co of cost analysis method is called cost benefit analysis method not only cost of inputs are valued in monetary terms but also benefits or outcomes in this case uh, which is different from cost minimization uh, it will measure and values the monetary terms of benefits and the cost of inputs or acquired cost of the intervention so it differs from cost minimization it is a full pharmacoeconomic analysis method used to improve the decision making making process in funds payment to health care programs in different programs such as tuberculosis program and malaria program uh, we have a budget uh, in this case we have to measure the input and the output or the input or resource will be consumed and the outcome uh, of this intervention and then we have to compare the, the total cost of tuberculosis intervention and malaria intervention and compare between them and select the intervention that will have the lower cost calculation of the benefits from an intervention and then convert it into dollars at time of evaluation uh, benefits from an intervention or outcomes from an intervention are converted into monetary Debt. Still, we continue in cost benefit analysis, and uh, but in this slide, we have uh, to compare between advantages and disadvantages of the cost benefit analysis. So, the advantage of the cost benefit analysis it compares two medicines of different outcomes and can determine whether the benefits uh, an intervention exceeds benefits of the intervention uh, will exceed the cost of outcomes or not so decision can be easily made uh, also multiple programs with similar or unrelated outcomes can be measured uh, in this case uh, we can compare between different programs and determine the cost of each of them and we can easily compare these two interventions and make a selection or choice. So the disadvantage of cost benefit analysis is that difficult because some benefits are difficult to be measured such as patient satisfaction and quality of life uh, in this case we mean that it is difficult to be measured and uh, converted in monetary terms uh, so this is one of the disadvantage of cost benefit analysis and uh, also it is sub subjective in decision maker in decision, in decision making uh, because uh, 
some people uh, will build their decision uh, on the cost of the intervention or resources will be con consumed since uh, outcomes cannot be measured. Also, it is difficult to place a monetary value on different healthcare outcomes. So this is one, uh, the third disadvantage of the cost-benefit analysis. Uh, the third type of uh, cost analysis method is cost-effectiveness analysis. Uh, this type of cost uh, of pharmacoeconomic analysis, uh, pharmacoeconomic cost analysis method is uh, used to identify the preferred choice among many alternatives. So in this case, uh, we have many alternatives, and one is the alternative of choice so we have to select to select it in order to make our intervention uh, in healthcare programs applied by measuring inputs in dollars and comparing health improvement clinical outcomes and life of extended years uh, So it is very important in cost effectiveness analysis in healthcare programs to evaluate the natural outcomes and the cost of an intervention. Uh, in order to make selection of this method. Cost-effectiveness analysis. Continue. So the advantage of cost-effectiveness analysis is that outcomes are easier to be quantified. Cholesterol level natural. Natural outcomes easily to be measured and quantified. And also uh, such as anticoagulant clinic with implementing the diabetes clinic grocery and bean time versus product glucose measure. So the different outcomes cannot be compared. Uh, co different. So different outcomes can be measured in this method of analysis, which is cost effectiveness analysis. Uh, uh, disadvantage of this method is effectiveness to cost ratio usually not evaluated in the same way by the society members, uh, healthcare insurers and healthcare provider. Programs uh, with different types of outcomes cannot be measured. Let us continue in uh, types of cost of uh, analysis. Uh, the first type of uh, pharmacoeconomic analysis is cost utility, utility analysis. In this type of cost uh, of pharmacoeconomic analysis, we use to measure uh, the number of years of life gained due to treatment due to treatment uh, in qualis. Qualis means that quality of adjusted life years uh, after the intervention. So uh, the quality of life achieved are measured in qualis. Uh, cost utility analysis results are expressed in quality adjusted life year gain or change of life for a given intervention. So the quality of life or the change of an intervention 
is quality adjusted life years. Also, uh, cost utility analysis is used successfully in healthcare programs and different healthcare programs such as uh, surgery versus chemotherapy or one antihypertensive versus another. Uh, in this example, we can illustrate or uh, we can uh, explain how cost utility analysis can be uh, expressed uh, as we see in this diagram there is uh, two axes uh, one explains the health uh, related quality of life and the other explains time or years of life so uh, in this case uh, if our quality of life is perfect so there is no any intervention there is no any need to intervene with a pharmaceutical or medicinal product so with the high quality of life uh, the patient will continue his life and then uh, when there is a problem of a disease his quality of life will be dropped down if there is no intervention with uh, any pharmaceutical product in case of the in case of an intervention then quality of life will uh, continue as the started uh, in, in this point and will continue in perfect situation as a perfect situation because of uh, the intervention so uh, in case of the blue curve area uh, if there is no any intervention then the quality of life will be dropped down uh, and then in certain stage will be stable and his life will continue then again will drop down and then will continue uh, with low quality of life until this if there is no intervention but in case of intervention quality of life will continue as it is and then will drop will be dropped down but not to the extent of that of no intervention uh, uh, in case of intervention uh, quality of life will be better than that of no intervention and his life will be continued and uh, that uh, then again will be dropped down and in case of intervention also quality of life uh, will be better and continue until this of this point so there is difference and different in cost and uh, difference of this point or uh, life of years so in case of intervention uh, we call it quality adjusted life years and in case of no intervention and this there is no quality of life adjusted years so uh, the main point is that in case of no intervention there is no quality adjusted life years and the death will be early in case of an intervention quality of life will be adjusted and the death of uh, the death will be uh, lately and so there is some of years gain to be lived with a high quality of so in case of course utility analysis advances the advantage is that just measuring patient's length of life and determines uh, the differences to utilize the choice. So we have to make a choice between uh, interventions uh, and the one that will improve the patient quality of life will be choose 
and measured uh, and, and cost will be measured. The disadvantage of cost utility analysis is that no consensus on how to measure this utility works. So there is uh, debates in this ad uh, in ways to measure uh, the cost utility uh, analysis. So in order to compare types of pharmacoeconomic analysis methods, inputs and outcomes measures, we can uh, look at this table. In case of cost minimization analysis, uh, the inputs units are monetary and the outcomes uh, units are also in monetary units. And in case of cost effectiveness analysis, the inputs are monetary or money, and but the outcomes are usually natural units such as blood pressure and blood glucose, and so on. In case of cost utility analysis, the inputs are usually monetary, and the outcomes are quality adjusted life years gain. But in case of cost benefit analysis, the inputs are monetary and also the outputs are monetary units. So the cost minimization uh, outcomes and inputs are similar of uh, cost minimization uh, cost minimization. So cost minimization units uh, of inputs and outcomes units are the same with the cost benefit analysis. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, there are other cost analysis methods, but the previous methods are the major cost analysis methods. Uh, one of other cost analysis method is cost consequences method. In this method, we ca we only uh, list cost of inputs and various outcomes um, presented, but no calculations or comparisons are made. So that this is just like a report. Uh, also, it is more understandable to healthcare decision makers. So. Uh, cost consequences analysis method is important for decision makers. Uh, comparison is left for decision makers, so decision makers uh, can make comparison between uh, various types of cost consequence analysis and then select that of uh, acceptable to patient or society perspectives. Another type of other cost of uh, of other cost analysis methods is cost of illness, usually summarized into direct and indirect cost, and used in estimation of total economic burden, prevention, treatment, losses in productivity of a particular condition or disease on a society also used in determination of resources needed for specific diseases or conditions and thirdly used in the economic impact of disease versus another between countries. Uh, also cause of illness has advantages and disadvantages. The disadvantages this uh, the disadvantage of this method is that methods to estimate are not constant or standardized. And the advantage of this method is that it is important for new therapies uh, because of humanistic impacts and discovery of new interventions. And uh, also it uh, presents a baseline for the new therapy. This information of cost of illness will present the baseline for new therapies. Uh, also cost of illness is uh, uh, has an advantage 
of conclusions regarding cost of interventions can be done that their conversion of alternatives. Uh, objectives of interventions and selections of pharmacogenomic analysis methods. So when we uh, have to select a certain pharma a certain pharmacogenomic analysis method. Uh, this can be determined according to objectives and situation and uh, so according to situation and objectives we can select the suitable method. So in case of uh, our, uh, our objective is to select min minimum cost choices and the situation uh, of our choices is that the two choices uh, have the same efficacy and outcomes so we have to select the cost minimization methods the minimum cost will be selected so uh, when our objective is to treat the same condition then we have to select the cost effectiveness method if choices are different in cost and outcomes are different uh, but uh, when our objective is uh, our objective was to select between two different interventions uh, cost benefits method will be suitable in case of outcomes are different in overall cost uh, also in cost uh, of choices also when the cost of choices is in uh, quality adjusted type years or our objective is to to measure the quality of life adjusted years so the cost utility method will be suitable if cost and quality of life uh, or quality of extended life years are linked together uh, in case of baseline for new therapies or of new diseases we have to select the cause of illness uh, in order in uh, in, uh, in case of uh, data documentation uh, listing of inputs and outcomes are objective when they are an object uh, when they are objectives so uh, or then we have to select the cost consequences methods in case of situation uh, was clinical trials phases one two three uh, before the conclusion uh, we have to illustrate that pharmacoeconomics analysis uh, has challenges so these challenges are number one challenge number one challenge is that cost minimization is useful in comparing interventions of identical clinical and humanistic outcomes and not in generic uh, substitution uh, so cost minimization uh, assume assumes that the outcomes is the same but uh, not measured this is a problem and challenge uh, also challenges of converting all benefits and outcomes into monetary terms cost benefit example blood pressure insulin control or improvement in quality of life is also difficult so benefits or outcomes sometimes are difficult when they are in national units uh, difficult to be converted into monetary terms consequences of interventions can be measured and compared when they are of the same terms but patient quality of life is difficult to be measured so the third challenge is that uh, quality of life is difficult to be measured and also conversion between different terms is difficult 
uh, is difficult uh, only of the same terms can be uh, also one of the challenges of pharmacoeconomic analysis is that when there is variations in interest what is the appropriate what is the appropriate perspective to take this is also another challenge patient third party society all of them has different perspectives so uh, the, the perspective uh, can be selected according to uh, the interest of uh, the patient or the third party or the society so there is a need for uh, determination of ethics that can justify the selection between these two between these various perspectives the real challenge is how and when to use results appropriately to make a decision so in case of decision making uh, the challenge is very difficult because there is a debate usually in uh, appropriateness of results so in conclusion medical and pharmaceutical costs uh, continue to arise so pharmacoeconomics is very important to solve this problem uh, the added value to society healthcare organizations and patients where such costs are not well established and estimated until uh, take into account the full pharmacoeconomic analysis. So the added value uh, of healthcare organizations uh, and patients versus costs are very important to be established but uh, under the full economic analysis method. Pharmacoeconomic evaluation is a major step to determine the cost of pharmaceuticals. Uh, the cost of pharmaceuticals only can be measured if there is a pharmacoeconomic evaluation method which must be full evaluation method not partial. Healthcare, uh, healthcare resources usually is care so pharmacoeconomic require, is required uh, very essentially to uh, to make the best use of these scale resources high cost will not uh, indicate the best value and outcomes quality is important so it is very important to put into account uh, that uh, not usually spending the high uh, resources or high cost uh, is indicator of good quality or outcomes uh, thank you and this is the end of this lecture and uh, uh, if any comment or question uh, please comment and ask below this YouTube video channel and I will reply your question uh, as soon as possible and thank you till we meet because and these are uh, references that you can use for further reading and improve your knowledge in this uh, type uh, of uh, uh, pharmacy practice and uh, thank you for listening and watching